I'm Kim. I'm a mom of two. I got a wonderful husband, and this is my story. Kelsey is a kid was just uh, she was quiet and kind and um, she was just a normal kid and she um, was never in a hurry. My dad would always say she'll never have an ulcer and um, it was surprising when we got the call. A friend of hers from Boston who was back in college um, said he had concerns and had seen a Facebook post and had showed it to his professor and the professor said it looked like someone who was in a manic episode and was having a psychotic break. I called her and I knew something was wrong. It sounded more like she was erratic, uh, but as the day progressed, I knew something um, was up and within 24 hours, um, she was diagnosed bipolar one. It was like somebody had put a foot, your foot on a gas pedal and pushed down really hard and she was getting faster and faster. It was a very confusing time. She got worse in the next couple of days. Uh, her husband called and said, Kim, I tried to stop her. She's moving things around. And I, I assured him when I got home, I would take care of it. And um, when I took the three hour drive home that afternoon after church, what I walked into um, sent me to my knees. The house was turned upside down. She had emptied cupboards out. She had stacked plates and cups on top of each other. Things were hanging from lamps. Um, she thought our cat was worth a million dollars. She was dressed uh, just totally different. This quiet girl who was always shy was now being loud and uh, agitated. It was not our girl. And um, within a couple days, we knew we needed to get her hospitalized. And so we took her into the emergency room. We had to trick her to get her there. And um, we were honest and told them we were worried she was gonna hurt somebody or hurt herself. She went to a whole level we did not know existed. They were surprised at how bad she was. I went down for a visit after driving uh, two hours to see her and you only got, there was two times you could see her for very short periods. I walked in the door, she saw me, she ran over and wrapped herself around me and drugged me to the floor screaming at the top of her lungs and I could not peel her off of me. And the doctors came in and said, I'm sorry, mom, you're gonna have to go. And it, I was just completely um, devastated. In the middle of the messy, God was showing up. It was scary, but we saw him um, just in ways that we couldn't imagine. First, when, this, when the phone call came, that day, my husband had started his vacation at like four o'clock in the afternoon. That was a miracle. I'm up here in Hillsboro. He was able to be there with her husband and help di get her diagnosed and get her the help she needed. The second was financially. Um, this could be devastating. It was gonna be thousands upon 10,000s of dollars of care. And uh, we found out that the bridge assistance was gonna cover 100% and she was gonna get excellent care. And then for me, the last thing was very personal. When they called and said, you know, we need to send her home out of the hospital. I, I told them, you can't, she is not well. You cannot send her home. I was terrified. And they said, we don't have a choice. We're gonna be sending her home. And I sat on my knees and I prayed. And in that moment, I added up how many days that she'd been in the hospital. And it was 40 days and 40 nights. And that was God's gift to me to say, girl, you're not alone. I'm walking this road with you. And you're gonna be okay. And Kelsey's gonna be okay no matter what the outcome. We walked in a level of trust we did not know existed. It was a slow process and, you know, we didn't know what to expect and every time my phone rang, I was worried, you know, is she sick again? You know, I would listen to her voice, is she talking fast? You know, all the signs that we were looking for in case, you know, something was happening again. And um, I got a phone call and she told me she was pregnant and I wanted to be excited, but I was terrified because would the hormones send her back into mania? Would she end up back in the hospital? It's been nine years and Kelsey is happy and healthy. She has two little boys and she is full of joy. Um, she's 
gone through other struggles, even though she hasn't had a break, but in that we have learned to look for God showing up in those places that we don't understand and we trust him. How this has changed me, how it's impacted me is I experienced a, a depth of faith and a level of trust I did not know existed. And I watched God work in the messy and now in every situation I look for Him showing up and I see Him moving. Um, and then lastly, I would say I look at people differently. When I see someone on a street corner and they're talking to themselves, I don't look away. I don't avoid it. I. I look at them and give a smile and I whisper a prayer because I know that that could be my daughter. And when people come and talk to me about struggles with anxiety or depression or some mental illness, I listen now because I listen through a lens of understanding and of hope. And we need to tell our story. We need to tell our story.